we're going to mark some holes on here and drill out some holes. Again, use your pencil. Um, when you mark your holes, try to center them in the flange. And also, don't get too close to the edges here, because then your T-nut will be hanging over the edge. Just make sure you're a fair bit back from the edge. Now four holes are all that's necessary. I see a lot of people that are putting three and four holes on each side when they do this. Um, it's not going to hurt anything, but it's not necessary. You're not getting any better grip. You're just making more work for yourself. Two holes on this side, two holes on this side are all that's needed. Put one right in the corner here where the, where the trigger guard meets the bottom of the slide. Put one on this flange right below the trigger, and then put two on the top flange. That's all you need. Okay, so you've got four holes here now, and you'll want to use a 3 16 inch drill bit. And when you make your holes in the leather, you'll want to use a 3 16 inch punch, and that will fit the screws that come with this kit perfectly. You can use, um, you don't have to use a leather punch, you can, you can actually drill a hole in this, or uh, like a Swiss Army knife will come with a little leather awl. And so, just put this back on there, and then mark your holes. So you can use like a little punch, or you can use a pencil, just kind of click the graphite down and make little holes. Um, you can use something like a little punch, a little brass punch. You don't have to press real hard. It's going to show up. We've got four little indents now. So we just line up the holes in the Kydex with the little indents that we made in the leather and then color those circles. Mark them real good go back and forth around in a circle so you can see them real easy. And now you can see the holes. Um, these punches work a lot better than the little squeeze punches because you can't fit the little squeeze punch all the way in the middle of the leather. So I think you can get a kit of these for four or five dollars at Harbor Freight. They're real handy for a lot of other things than just leather. And uh, you can just hold it with a pair of pliers and just punch it right out. And now we see that uh, punched out our holes in the leather. And we also see that the holes in the Kydex line up perfectly. So now you want to come to the back side of this, take your T-nut and hammer it in to the leather and just put it on a solid surface. And just try to center your hammer and give it one good whack. Now um, you can use a sledgehammer or a regular hammer but I highly recommend a mallet, a rubber mallet if you miss and hit your leather, it's going to look, it's going to have a real ugly mark in it because it's going to leave a stamp in it just like that. But it's going to be an ugly ring like from the edge of your hammer. 
So I recommend the rubber mallet. If you miss strike it, you're not gonna mess up your leather. You're also gonna want to protect the face of your leather when you're hammering. You don't just wanna drive the face of this into some plywood because then you're gonna have the surface of the plywood imprinted into your leather. So, um, like a flat piece of wood or anything that's not uh, that doesn't have a surface that's going to imprint into this. You can use a cutting board or something too. So you just protect the face and then press these in. Okay, um, this is what it's going to be when you're done. You see they're all in there nice and flat. Nothing to poke or scratch. And they'll stay there. They'll stay there easily. You won't fill these. You won't even, it'll be just like one piece of leather. You can't fill them. They're going to slightly protrude from the front of the leather. And your kydex sits on top of this. Here's the spacers that you get. It hasn't been cut up into spacers yet. So <clears throat> start off with uh, some thick ones. You'll want two of these that are a quarter inch and they'll go, they'll slip onto these T-nuts here for your clips. And then you want four that are three-eighths of an inch. And if you use a three-eighths spacer here, then you're going to use the 5H screw, which is a longer screw. And if you can't get your holster tight enough, then you'll cut four more one quarter inch spacers and use the shorter half inch screws with the Kydex. So to cut this, you just lay it down and just make nice even cuts with your box knife. So here I've cut some short ones and long ones. Here's a long one, here's a short one. You can just go ahead and slip these onto the T-nuts. They'll kind of click on. Some of this does have writing on it depending on what part of the hose you get. Um, certain lengths there's writing. So if there's writing just kind of face it to the center of the holster face it this way instead of this way and then you'll never see it. Now you'll take your finishing washers and take a screw and, and uh, that's going to hold everything down. When you do this, make sure that you don't strip out that T-nut. If you come at this sideways like this, it's going to easily get cross-threaded in the T-nut. So make sure your center just kind of wiggle it and fill for center. And then push and make sure you're centered. And then go ahead and twist it in. And... Uh, if you have a set of these, these are a little easier than the, the wrench that comes with it because you can you really use a lot more hand strength. So we've got the Kydex attached to the leather now and I've just barely started each screw and then you can put the pistol in and kind of see where it's at. Just a little bit looser than I'd like it, so I'm going to tighten it a little more, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the clips on. So, um, here you see the clips are on, and if you put those in the center, it's probably going to work out for you. Nine times out of ten, that's where they need to be. Some people may like it a little off-center, a little higher or lower. But this is a nice cant right where it's at. And you can see we've got a nice clip.
click it's not going to fall out and you can loosen it to the point where it would and you can really over tighten it too these are the longer screws you could put even shorter ones in there but a good test of tension is grab it and hold it a little bit and pull it out because your belt is going to put some pressure on that and so if it's too tight if you can't pull it out when you're holding it like that you're probably not going to be able to pull it out when your belt's on so you'll want to loosen it some or try it on first and then make your tension adjustments from there and when this wears in you're also either dependent on where you wear it you may have to loosen these or you may have to tighten these to get your tension right um, you can see that here's one that's been worn and you can see how it's formed to my body this is my holster that I wear and it's formed perfect when you first start wearing it it's going to be like this for a couple days and it's going to take it just a little while to wear in a few days a week maybe at the most and you're going to have something that's um, perfectly formed to you and you're probably going to have to tighten it a little bit but that's it you're done if you have any questions um, go ahead and email at thomas at oldfaithfulholsters.com always happy to help any questions that you might have anything I might have left out of the video that you're curious about just email and uh, we'll get an answer to you